It's the time of year when upper respiratory illnesses like the cold, flu, and RSV become more common. But this winter, doctors on Long Island say they're seeing higher rates than usual of pertussis, a highly contagious respiratory infection, also known as whooping cough. It's a really strong cough, uh, and you're prone to these coughing fits. And sometimes as you're, you have the coughing fit and you take a deep breath in, it sounds like a sound, it's like a woof. Infants are especially vulnerable to whooping cough because they're too young to be vaccinated. In severe cases, they may require hospitalization. Infants, the majority of whom will be well, are at slightly higher risk for apnea, which is when they actually stop breathing in response to the, to the um, infection itself. Suffolk County is reporting a drastic increase from four reported cases in 2022 to 108 in 2023, the highest rates in 10 years. Doctors say part of the reason may be that in recent times, the public has focused on COVID and flu vaccines instead of getting the Tdap shot to prevent severe pertussis symptoms. I think that COVID caused a lot of folks to have some hesitation about vaccines, which is unfortunate because again, the pertussis vaccine has been around for 50 years and is very, very safe. The most recent uptick is in school aged children. Anyone experiencing whooping cough symptoms or who has been around someone who has it is encouraged to visit a doctor and get the nasal swab test. Doctors recommend that you stay home if you're sick, mask up when going out in public, and stay away from young children and infants if you have whooping cough or any other respiratory illness. Outside of Cohen Children's Medical Center, Amy Yancey, PIX11 News.